When building palettes, sometimes we want the same data for all channels of the same fixture type, like in many color or beam palettes. By type palettes allow us to use data from a single fixture to populate all other fixtures of that type. Let's start by going into Q104. Enter. And let's take channel 102, full remdim, enter. And I wanna open up a color picker and I wanna make that fixture amber. There we go, that looks nice. From here, let's say select last, record, color palette 14. I'm gonna use my by type soft key, say label and amber. Let's switch to snapshot four and we can double hit and open space on our custom direct selects to store that new color palette there. And before we forget, let's go ahead and re-record that snapshot so we don't lose that color palette. Record snapshot four, enter, enter, and hit clear. Next, let's take our entire group of front of house movers, turn them on, and I wanna put them in focus palette one through five, enter, and spread those around. And now go ahead and touch our new amber direct select. And through the magic of by type palettes, the data that we stored into channel 102 is also saved for all other fixtures of that type. Let's look at this palette in blind. Blind, color palette, 14, enter. Let's be in table view, page down. So you can see here that channel 102 is blue and the other channels of that fixture type are magenta. The blue color indicates that that channel is the leader channel and magenta means that those channels are follower channels. So they're going to do whatever the leader channel is doing. Let's go back out into live. And now let's say group seven, full, full. Let's go ahead and home those fixtures. And I wanna switch these to amber on their color wheel, not using their mixed color. So I'm going to get color select two on my encoders. And I'm gonna roll those until I get to the amber chip. There we go. I wanna get this into a new color palette. So I'm gonna say select last. I'm gonna press my color select two encoder so I can get that on the command line because I only want to store that information in this color palette. Record. Color palette, 31, by type, enter. Let's look at that one in blind. Blind, color palette, 31, enter. Page down. We can see that channel 121 is our leader channel with its blue data. Because we didn't specify a leader channel when we recorded it, we just selected the entire group, it defaults to the lowest channel number in that group. The rest of the channels, however, are white, which represents discrete data. Even though those other channels have the same information as the leader channel, they're not actually following it. They are stored as their own data discreetly. If I want to remove that discrete data and simply have those channels follow the leader, I can use my cleanup key and press enter, and that will be converted to follower data. While we're here, let's go ahead and label this as wheel amber. Next, I wanna take a look at color palette 14, which is our amber color palette that we created. Let's page up. On this color palette, you can see that channel 102 is our leader channel. That's because when we initially created it, we did so with that channel. If we wanna change which channel is our leader, we can do that here by typing 101 by type enter. And that will assign channel 101 as the leader channel. When we did that, channel 102 was converted to discrete data rather than follower data. To fix that, we can say 102 at enter. We could also have used our cleanup soft key. Let's go back into live. Now let's grab just channel 104, enter. And I want to adjust just the magenta on only that channel. So we're looking at the fixture on the low platform upstage right. I'm gonna add some magenta there. There we go. So now I wanna update just that channel's change into our color palette. So we can say select last, update, and I'm just gonna to touch my color palette direct select to store that change. 
If we go into blind to look at this, color palette, 14, enter. You'll see that 104, as expected, has become discrete data since it's no longer doing what the leader channel is doing. We also have the option to convert follower data to discrete data without changing it. For example, we could say 105 discrete enter, which is going to convert that data into discrete data for us. If we clear our command line and use our cleanup soft key now, everything will be converted to follower data except for numbers that are different. In this case, the magenta parameter on channel 104 remains discrete because it is not doing what the leader channel is doing. If we want to remove that discrete data and have channel 104 follow its leader channel, we need to specify that directly by saying 104 at enter. That removes the discrete data and changes that data to match the leader channel. Next, let's take a look at color palette one. I'm gonna scroll down to where I can see 131 through 148. Channels 131 through 138 were patched into our show file after we initially created this color palette. We can easily add color data for those channels by making this a by type palette. If I simply say by type enter, they are immediately populated with the same data as the channels below since they're the same fixture type. I can clean this up and we've got a nice looking palette that we can now use on all of our fixtures throughout our show. Let's go ahead and do this for all of our color palettes. So we'll say color palette one through 13, by type, clean up, enter. Now we can use any of our existing color palettes on any fixtures that are the same fixture type, regardless of whether those fixtures were initially patched when the palettes were created. So even though we patched additional fixtures after we initially recorded these palettes, there is now data for our new fixtures in these palettes. If you add new fixture types to your show, you'll need to make sure to include data for those fixtures in your existing palettes. If we cycle through our palettes using the next key, we can see that there is now data for those channels throughout all of our palettes. To show how the follower channels will do whatever the leader does, go ahead and select color palette five. Let's choose channel 141. And I want the red parameter. I'm gonna get that on my command line with my encoder, or you could use your CIA tile and say 25, enter. Because channel 141 is our leader channel, any changes to that channel is going to propagate throughout all the follower channels in a palette. Let's go ahead and undo enter so we don't actually mess up our palette. Let's jump back into live. When we update a by type palette, we don't need to know the channel number of the leader channel. Let's say group two, full, remdim, enter. And these are in the dark blue palette, but using our encoders, let's add a little more red here. There we go. From here, I can say select last, update. If you look in the update dialog box, you'll see a channel in brackets. That is your leader channel for the target that you're updating. Color palette six, by type, Enter. Now let's go into blind and look at color palette six. And you'll see that we didn't create any discrete data because we appended by type on our update command line.